So this is a brazen killing. This is just a brazen killing overall. Uh, Iran's top nuclear scientist, who American and Israeli intelligence have long charged with being the secret programs to design an atomic warhead, was shot and killed in an ambush on Friday. And that is painfully, obviously, Israel. And I hate to talk about it, but it is probably Israel and Saudi Arabia tag teaming together. And there's, we have to talk about it. I think we have to talk about the. It's funny how they're doing all this stuff, like right before this guy's getting out of office. You know, I it's think like... these are all power moves. These are yeah. all the things that these specific blocks of people want. And it is literally to have as powerful as an Israel as possible, which matters to them. Yeah. And um, they want Iran to be humiliated for some reason. I feel like they, they feel like the past happened where Iran took our, our own citizens and they still have never let that go. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's not just the fact that it's a dictatorship. I believe that it's actually some deep seated, like, man, you guys took our people for i don't know, i don't remember how many days i think it was over like 200 days correct yeah yeah i don't know too, i don't remember too much of it it was a while back ago um but i do know that yes yeah, yeah yeah i was still a little kid <laughs> yeah but, but um what was i gonna say man it's it's pretty crazy man like it, like this country like for some they say that they're supposed to keep religion and um politics separate but you know this has a lot of religious um uh indication you know what's the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for not indication um i mean indicators there are indicators there, that's what it <laughs> there are a lot of yeah. indicators that are, have to do with what people believe is going to be the end of the world yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is the that's that's what scares me is that yeah. they're yeah. allowing this because they have a religious fervor yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Um, I mean, it's been bad in that area for a long time, you know. And I feel like something is just going to be a catalyst for a war to spark off. You know, I know this guy in our office is not doing anything to try and uh, deter or help in any way. Um, so you know, it's just hopefully whatever Biden can come in and help placate the situation. I don't know if it's even possible at this point. Because it just seems like they're going to, um, it's always retaliation. Yeah. It seems like it's always being a retaliation for something else. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to play this little video. No, actually, actually, before you play that, I should explain to people more exactly what happened. So Moshan uh, Fakarazed was ambushed in the town of Abzard, about 40 miles east of Tehran. Four assailants opened fire after witnesses heard an explosion. Efforts to resuscitate Frogside failed. His bodyguard was wounded. Gunmen waited along the road and attacked Mr. Frogside as his car was driving through the countryside town of Absard in the Damavad region. According to the original Iranian media and state television, the scientist Moshan Frogos, believed to be 59, believed to be 59, has been considered the driving force behind Iran's nuclear weapons program for two decades and continued to work after the main part of the effort was quietly disbanded in the early 2000s, according to American intelligence assessments. So it's just important to get the, the full document of what happened out there. And also that this was a full 12 person gun down. This yeah. is not, this wasn't an easy killing. This was, this was 12 people going to assassinate somebody. So it seems to me like this has to be if it's not Iran itself, it's going to have to be Israel and Saudi Arabia talking to each other. Yeah, that's crazy. So they, they first tried to attack him supposedly with an explosion or some sort, and then they, they shot up the car. Yeah. 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 It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, what do you do in a situation like that? Like, like how do you, like, we, we're just like um, hearing the stories or whatever. But there's like some serious, like crazy thing going on in the background that 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 nobody really knows about. And why are they doing this? And um, it's it's scary, man. 
I, I wish we, I, we, I wish I could. Uh, I wish they were more honest with us, so that I can kind of get a, a sense of what direction this is pulling everybody. I feel like uh, I don't know. Like you think that everything's cool for a while now. I don't even know why they're doing all this stuff with COVID and everything. You think everybody'd be a little more laid back, focus on re- recovering from this, but nope, they're still doing their their evil deeds, and and we can't. I don't know. It's crazy. But see, that's the thing. This is kind of the art of war problem, where the art of war is that when you have an actual crisis, you use that crisis to the advantage, right? Yeah, to your advantage. So, I very much I understand it. I I believe that it is a smart decision on their part. But you should play the. So it's important to note that in 2018, um, it is clear that Israel came into. Iran and literally took information from them and took like fifty thousand dollars of top secret documents from Iran, and that's pretty brazen. And this is what came up of after that. Sometimes. So this is actually, I mean, it's important to see it as well. So this is what the roadway was. So this is, it's a clear roadway, and there's clearly a straight-up shot at this guy. This guy was going to die no matter what in this situation. There was no way that they were going to allow him to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. You wanted to see the other video, right? Um, Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just playing it in. No worries, the no worries, no worries. I, I didn't call that video. This, this so, is the one, right? Yes. Okay, yes, let me just make sure this thing loads up correctly. For some reason, it seems like the YouTube wants to give me a little bit of issues or whatever. Why is it doing that? Oh, this one. In 2018, Benjamin Netanyahu singled him out when Israel released what it claimed was a cache of documents proving that Iran's nuclear program was still running despite the JCPOA nuclear deal. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fakhizadeh, head of Project Ahmad, put it. Remember that name, Fakhizadeh. This work is carried out by Sapant. That's an organization inside Iran's defense ministry. And you will not be surprised to hear that Sapand is led by the same person who led Project Ahmad, Dr. Fahri Zadeh. Iran has been quick to point the finger at America and Israel, suggesting that the countries want to inflame tensions before Donald Trump leaves the White House. How is this guy still talking? Isn't he corrupt? Isn't he? Wasn't he convicted He's... of some stuff? Like, I don't yes. <laughs> Um, honestly, I do not understand the full reach of his power, but his power is, seems to be long stretching because not only has he been there for, I believe, four administrations now, um, he's been elected four times and it, it doesn't, you know, not even bad elections, but, um, it's crazy. Like, I, like this guy is just a super propaganda machine. He just spews all sorts of garbage. Just to, to, but I mean, they to make the, the point of get... so, so the, the the information was correct. That's no, I the believe it. I, I believe it's correct, but he's doing it with his own agenda. Like he's, it's not like I don't know, man. It's like it, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Like like they're they're just as corrupt as everybody else. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, man. It, 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 it's hard for me. Like if, if I heard it from another person, I'd probably take it with more, you know, like more credible. But when I speak to hear him speaking. I don't know, man. This dude's a clown. I, I don't like a lot of the people in power, and how they keep staying in power is beyond me. And the fact, like, between him and Trump, it, 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 it stupefies me. When oh, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, sometimes. We're just taking a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Technical difficulty, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. But it, at the end of the day, it's like, we're all trying to, um, you know, just try to make sense of it all, and you got them. You know, they take. I don't know. I, I don't so know. So the reason that I mean, the 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 lot of the, the the articles today have to do with warfare, and unfortunately, the reason I brought them up is because it is incredibly important to understand that we're still having so much conflict in so many countries across the 
the world right now. Um, somehow COVID has not erased that. Like, obviously, I mean, it's more of an obvious, you know, COVID isn't going to erase that there's major strife in a, a bunch of countries. The next one we're going to talk about is Ethiopia. And to some people, that doesn't matter to them. But the reason I'm bringing think about up it. Ethiopia yep. <laughs> is that I didn't realize that how much of a stronghold they have in Africa, which and also as a trading device to the rest of the world. So they are, they're like one of the most important areas their capital is one of the most important areas so, supposedly um before we cut over there the, the with the um, with the stuff in iran i'm hearing stories i mean i don't know what's true and what isn't obviously because they're so secretive that they're pulling out of uh, iraq and uh, afghanistan to maybe provide more support for iran you know get a conflict in iran so it's like it's just i don't trust any of this it just seems like i don't know man it's what sad I'm also times, hearing man. I mean, what I'm also hearing is that the reason why I brought up Saudi Arabia and um, the Israel talking is that they have been talking to each other. They literally have been opening up transit ways to each other by air. So it's it's important. And also that the I don't know if the UAE has any goal other than to solidify itself enough to get back into the get into the UN. Yeah, I. So they're doing everything they can to help Israel right now do anything that they want. And they know that this is the correct president for that to happen because it's not going to be easy once uh, Joe Biden is elected. It's going to get just weird because the progressives are going to keep fighting them. And it's not going to be like, yes, they're going to get, Israel is going to get the money they want. There's no question. But I don't know if they'll get the policy they want. And yeah. they've never had problems getting money from, um, like, the Obama administration and everything like that. And since Biden was part of that, they're going to get plenty of money. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. I mean, supposedly they said um, Biden um, wants to get back into the nuclear deal. I don't know how that's going to affect everything if these guys start a, a conflict now, you know? It's like, they, it seems like they want to do that so that he can't get into a nuclear deal with them eventually... They said that they're down for it, which would be a good thing, I guess. But what happens if we start bombing them again and doing stupid stuff? You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's scary, man. This guy is unhinged. This guy Trump's unhinged. Uh, do you want me I mean, to... it's not just Trump. And that's actually one of the reasons why I yeah, have these yeah. stories up is yeah. because there's so many leaders right now. Bolsonaro, mm -hmm. Modi. There's just a lot of strong men just walking around right now. And... I think that is the story of 2020 and 2019. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that story will, will really ever be told because mm -hmm. those they're very popular in their messaging. Even Trump is popular in his messaging. He's just pop, not popular enough to stay in office. Yeah, yeah. So the right-wing agenda seems to be very popular. I don't, I don't get it. You know what I mean? It's never really, well, I'm not going to say it isn't for certain people's best interests, but majority of people's best interests aren't served with a right-wing agenda, even though they, for some reason, I guess the, the illusion of power is what makes them think, oh, you know, country first, power, we're powerful, we're going to do it, you know, there's something behind that, I can kind of see that law and order type of thing, but the rest of it is just like, I don't understand how people can, can be misled so easily.